Holly. I'm Paige and I'm Holly. Holly. We were best friends for like 15 years and we've been wearing hair extensions for like, I'd say our entire 15 lives. 15 years yeah. plus. <laughs> for the longest time, way before it was cool to wear hair extensions. At 316s, <laughs> it didn't even match our own hair. Yeah. We would just kind of take whatever we could find and stick it in. It was probably in your grandma's hair. Yeah. I remember that yeah. one, it clicked in. <laughs> Well, it definitely advanced since then. Yeah, the hair extensions, is, and it's also become more socially acceptable to wear hair extensions. Back then, we were like, people and were hair. Yeah, they're like, what is in your hair? <laughs> so we're gonna talk about our favorite hair extensions and um, just growing long hair in general, and like things that we've learned over the years for how to actually grow your hair fast. Well, with my hair, it's the seamless hair extensions. Mm -hmm. So seamless hair, it's this new one that I just recently got about a few days ago. It actually tapes in and lays against the hairline. And you're pretty much taking two sticky pieces of hair and sandwiching it into your real hair. So you literally, you probably can't even feel it. Yeah, you it's can't even tell. Against my head completely. Like your, I feel your ear, but I don't feel anything else. No texture. <laughs> <laughs> Big ears. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean it like that. <laughs> But the awesome thing about this is that it does not damage the hair. There's no adhesive like Great Lanes so cool. um, or sew caps, you know, like those beaded ones. Also, these are professionally removed and you can reuse them again. So, so when they're putting it in, what is it like? Like how do they apply it? Yeah, so they pretty much take like a section of your hair and then they'll take two sheets of seamless and they'll put one at the bottom and one at the top and then sandwich it and stick it. So it's not against the root and it kind of just sticks there. With like a little gel. Oh, that's cool. Literally almost invisible. Wow, yeah. That's crazy. It lasts about six to eight weeks because your hair will continue to grow. And then in that time, you go to the hair salon, they'll remove it properly, and then reapply and use the same hair again. That's amazing. So there's yeah. like, there's, have you seen anybody have damage from it or it seems like no damage? Not at all. Like literally cool. no damage. And I will probably continue to use this until they come out the next innovative hair extensions because so this cool. is slamming really so good. So when you wash it and stuff, do you do you feel it? Does it feel weird or anything? You're not supposed to get too close to your scalp with water because okay. then that can kind of make the tape a little bit softer. So if anything, I use um, a dry shampoo and this one's called the Detox Dry Shampoo from Sephora and I'll spray the root if it starts to get oily. Other than that, I'll just do a normal hair wash at the tips. So what I'm wearing right now is I'm actually wearing clip-in extensions. And you can see them over there because it's a little wavy. I didn't yeah. straighten them. But um, they're about 20 inches long and I have like my hair's on the longer side, but it's very thin. Yeah, that is your real hair right Yeah, there. this is my hair and then the bigger piece is more of like an extension. But um, for me, like I like to take it out because most of the time I wear my hair up in a bun and I wear, or I'll wear it in a ponytail when I work out. So for me, it's like I I want to get something like that. That's probably the only one I would get would be the tape and extensions because it seems just like, like a few so of them. Yeah. yeah, these ones I have about a bundle of tracks from the from the top all the way to the bottom. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably just, just get like a little row. Random. So yeah. I might do that actually because I've been wearing these for a long time. I just put them in when I'm going out and I want my hair to look more like glamorous and bombshell like. Um, but I really like that. Yeah. It's really and cool. And even with clip-ons, you realize that like your curls stay longer and better. Yeah. Opposed to our hair, we both have very similar hair. It's yeah. very fine. Mm -hmm. And since it's been blonde for the past like 10 years, it's yeah. been processed and yes. <laughs> <laughs> damaged. It's really so. damaged. But with the extensions, it's like you, you could curl them and the curl stays longer. I noticed. So much better. Yes. So for growing hair, like that's like I guess we're all trying to have a little hair. We wear hair extensions and stuff like that. But growing hair is like I guess the most important thing. We're trying to figure out how to get your hair healthier, how to get it to grow faster. So what are some things that you've learned over the years for growing your hair? Um, definitely vitamins. I definitely noticed mm -hmm. like the biotin. Yeah. And recently they actually made a higher dosage of it. Oh, oh my god, yeah. that's great. Instead of I I would do like five um milligrams. This is. 10,000 mm -hmm. MCGs, which is 10 milligrams, it's the same with Clovoids. So this is the brand I use uh, to fast dissolve, and I do this because I'm not a good pill taker, mm -hmm. like a gag <laughs> reflex, really yeah. So this is actually like, it tastes like a Smartie in your mouth, it literally just melts. Really? And usually you get like a bad taste afterwards, this is completely like a candy. So I'm gonna get that Those one. are the best ones. That's cool. Biotin is like so important. Anytime I've ever taken it, my hair's grown like very fast. Tremendously, yeah. yeah. But you gotta stick with it like every single day, don't yeah. forget. Another thing that's very important is keeping it from breaking and like for me my hair breaks very easily So even though it's like it's growing it's like I'm getting split ends I'm pu it's pulling out it's getting thinner because if I like uh, it gets naughty on me really quick because like I have very like 
very fine hair. Mm -hmm. I don't know if yours gets like that, but if I wear like a scarf or if I go snowboarding or if I go running, like it gets in knots really easily. So I've learned that like keeping your hair in a braid is like the best way to avoid knotting and all that stuff. Definitely. So even though like I hate having to like, I hate the way it looks when I take the braid out, I'll sleep with the braid in almost every night to prevent it from getting knotty. I'll give you a nice wave in the morning. Too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's my thing. I just learned that like, if I keep my hair in braids, that's my best tip. And taking bites, and I think is the yeah. also best tip. I also don't think people really like your hairbrush matters too. Yeah. Um, to detangle it and mm -hmm. tease it. Um, this one, the specific one that I use is actually from Great Lengths. Oh, it's cool. The bristles are like more bundled and it's more spongy. You get the most perfect fluff after and that's it's super nice. gentle. Just make sure that you're always holding on to the scalp and brushing through. But it's expensive, it's $60, you can get it on their website, but it's worth it, it will last you a decade forever, mm -hmm. just be gentle with it. That's great. Another way of keeping your hair like in a good condition. And does that help like with like heavy knots and stuff for like preventing it from ripping out? Yeah, but you definitely want to use a, a little detangler first, okay. if it's wet. But when it's dry, you could just like brush right through it and it's That's perfect. Cool. Let's, <laughs> let's fluff you. Yeah, fluff me up. Wow. <laughs> so nice. No, but it feels really smooth. Yeah, it's very light and, and gentle. It gets every single hair. Yeah, it's that's great. Bundled with bristles. Yeah, I like that. Great. That's a good quality brush. Yeah. Cool. So those are our tips for hair extensions and growing your hair. I hope you guys learned something from this video. And Any other questions? Like leave in the comments. Yeah, leave, leave us some respond. comments. We'll be here to answer anything that you guys have to ask about hair. See you guys. Bye.